Hello and welcome back fellow travelers. In today's video, which will have two or three parts, I'm going to show you how to build an amazing portal base. The planet I'm on right now is in the Ice and Tam galaxy, and it is eerily similar to the planet in Euclid that you've seen so many times in my past videos. It's crazy. I've built some electromagnetic generators and batteries over there and connected them to another battery that is hidden in the ground close to the base computer. I've also built myself a small platform on top of the portal to have a better look at what I'm building down there. There's a safe beacon on the platform as well, since you never know when things go sideways and you have to reload. I'm going to do this build with stone, so let's jump right into it and select a stone floor from the build menu. Placing the first stone floor is kind of tricky, since we need to eyeball it. However, we can use some existing patterns in the portal to place the stone floor where it needs to be. However, we can use some existing patterns in the portal to place the stone floor where it needs to be. I'm using this line to align the first floor piece. That looks pretty good to me, however, we need to move the first floor piece out a bit. Having the portal dial device underneath a floor will cause major problems. I've seen it being stuck underneath the floor a while back, and it wouldn't pop up. So we need to move the first floor a bit further away. That looks way better, and we can continue to build our portal base from this position. Select the stone ramp from the build menu and place it like I do. After that, switch back to the stone floor and build a walkway to the left and right. Select the stone ramp in your build menu once again, and place them like I do. Of course, it all depends on how your terrain around the portal looks like, on how many stone ramps you have to place to get ground clearance. Now let's build the living area. First, build two stone floors at the edge of the stone ramp. After that's done, switch to the stone triangles. Place the stone triangles like I do, and switch to a stone floor, in between. That will allow us to create a different pattern and create a bigger, circle-like structure. Select the triangles once again, and keep placing them like I do. Delete the floor panel, since we don't need it anymore. Now let's focus on a small platform on these stone ramps. For whatever reason, I cannot place a stone triangle at the edge of the stone ramp. We need to switch to a stone floor panel and place it instead. After that, switch to the stone triangle and place it like I do. Build the small platform on both sides of the portal. Let's have a look from above. Looks like we're getting there. Since the game won't allow us to place a stone ramp at the edge of the triangle, we need to do something different. Select the stone floor once again from the build menu and place them like I do. Copy or select the stone ramp from the build menu and place them at the edge of the stone floors. Select the stone floors once again in your build menu and place them like I do. Now we need to build the floors for the science stations and the landing pads. For the science staff, we're going to build larger rooms. Select or copy a large triangle and place them like I do. Remember to place a floor panel in there at some point, like we've done before.
repeat those steps on the other side as well. Copy a stone floor or select it in your build menu and place it around the triangles this way. So the layout for the living area, the science stations and the hydroponics is done now. Let's focus on the landing pads. The technique of merging the landing pads is well known, and I've shown you how to do it in previous how to build videos. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to watch all the videos linked in the description below. Adjust the placement of the landing pad using visual aids. Anything on the floors you've placed will do. Look for patterns in the floor and align the landing pad accordingly. Cover the landing pad with floor tiles and repeat that step on the other side as well. Well, that does look like it's coming together quite nicely, and in the next video we will focus on how you want your ramps to look like. Remember to make a save point at this time. I hope to see you all in the next video, when we focus on the ramps and what choices you've got to make. Hope you liked the video. Please leave a like and consider subscribing. Thanks.